Today, what we are going to focus on is displacement and distance. So what is distance? I'm assuming everybody knows what is distance. So what is the distance that you travel? You, you came from your house till school, from school or did you come from school or did you come from home here? From home. So from home to here, did you walk? Did you come by bike? Scooter. So the scooter must have gone all over the place, right? It won't come, did it come by straight line? Did you fly like a crow? No. So basically, you came here, maybe you started from this place and then this guy reached this class probably like this. Maybe there was a U-turn and then finally landed up here. So what is the distance that he's covered? What is your name? Varun. Varun. So Varun has been walking or going on a scooter. Okay. So Varun is basically going on the scooter. So he goes like this. So what is the distance that he's traveled? So what does that mean? Like if I look at this, what distance am I asking you to look at? The curved path, that is this total length, right? That total length is called the distance covered. So we use the term distance covered. We will come back to this in a minute. Or distance traveled. Usually I am going to use the letter D. Sometimes we will use the letter L, no not S, we will use S for something else. We will usually use the letter D or sometimes we will use the letter L. Why will you use L? D means distance. What about L? Length. What length? Le length of this entire path. So it is the path length that is the distance covered. Okay. But there is another word. Probably you already heard it. It is called displacement. Okay. Now let us write that word. Dis place meant now this word what does it mean what is the meaning of displacement yes um, when you are uh, movement relative to something else but movement relative to something else is not displacement okay what about you okay so what about you you feel like A straight line, so is displacement a line? Not exactly, like somewhat like the, it's just an, uh, like you are assuming that it's a straight line. You are assuming it's a straight line, so I draw a line from here to there, okay? The total distance between, the total uh, length between the two areas without uh, uh, choosing a different path, like if you, the shortest path. Shortest path. That's what you also say. Yes, what about you? Yeah. Shortest distance covered. Shortest no. distance covered. A shortcut. A shortcut, okay. Okay, so let us look at certain different definitions that we have. One of you basically talked about this line, right? Now, there is also this definition which is displacement is equal to the shortest distance between initial and final point. So initial and final points. Okay. Let us try and understand this statement because that's something that is repeated many times. So it's worthwhile understanding it. Okay. Suppose I tell you that the shortest boy in this class, maybe that's you, okay, is a girl. Does the sentence make sense to you? Suppose I tell you the shortest girl in this class is a boy. Is that sentence okay or something is wrong with the sentence? Why is it wrong? But it's, I said the shortest boy. So shortest boy can be a girl, no? No, no because you already said that it's a boy. When I say shortest boy, obviously it's a boy. So it can't be a girl, right? Because you say girl and boy, different. I mean, I'm not saying they're opposites, but definitely they are different. So shortest girl cannot be a boy. Shortest boy cannot be a girl. That would be the wrong sentence to say. If you say displacement is the shortest distance 
that means displacement is a distance is that correct if i say shortest boy must be a boy shortest distance must be distance but distance can only be a positive number then why are we talking about displacement actually because this is not a good definition yes Uh, displacement changes with direction but distance does not no so how can you call displacement as the shortest distance shortest length that's the same as saying the length of distance covered right shortest path traveled mm, shortest path traveled doesn't still tell us a very good answer okay that still tells you that displacement is a path so is displacement a path okay before we answer some of these questions let me just ask one more question so can you please get up and can you also get up okay so you are going to stand here and you are going to stand there what's your name yamini yamini so yamini starts from a and goes to b let's call this b and you are nidish ha uh, nidish so nidish is going to go from b to a okay now let us do one thing let us take nidish and tell nidish can you walk around like that and go there go there like that and yeah i mean you can just walk like this okay so now nidish you know how he's walked right and you saw how yamini walked so first question is the distance traveled by yamini equal to the distance traveled by nidish no yes you saw how he walked i no. am only talking about now in terms of what you saw did the distance traveled by nidish equal the distance traveled by yamini no no right was it equal no, no. what about yamini's displacement What was Yamini's displacement? Like this? Okay. What about Nidish displacement? So was Yamini's displacement equal to Nidish displacement? Yes. 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 No. Why no? Very good. Displacement has direction. If you look at Nidish displacement, Nidish displacement is an arrow like this. Yamini's displacement is an arrow like. that now apart from the fact that yamini did this she also walked some distance nidish walked a different distance but his displacement was that arrow so first of all if i go from a to b i get an arrow like this if i go from b to a i get a different arrow like that these two are not equal they are very different if you go from your home to school or you go from your school to home the displacements are very very different okay obviously what you are going to do after you reach there is also very different but broadly you know that going like this is not the same as going like this they are different arrows displacement first of all is not distance then what is it it is an arrow Okay so when right now nidish walks back so can you just walk back straight so then you can say nidish displacement is equal to yamini's earlier displacement they both had the same displacement because they both had the same arrow but originally when he walked this way his arrow was pointing like this her arrow was pointing like that and they are not the same okay thank you so two two important ideas first of all you already know that displacement is different from distance second distance is this length it's a length that's it it's not an arrow so if i walk from b to a along this path or go from a to b along this path my distance traveled is the same my displacement is not the same because displacement is not a distance displacement is an arrow we call this a vector 
So we write displacement is a vector. Vector is just a fancy word of say, fancy way of saying arrow. What kind of arrow? It is an arrow from initial position to the final position. Straight arrow. Is that first clear? Now let us try and understand why we use it. So that means this definition is clearly wrong. But people use this so many times, it is worth spending some time to understand what they mean. We will look at that after a minute. So I'll leave this on the board. First point, displacement cannot be the shortest distance. Why? Because it is not even a distance. Even it is not distance in the first place, how can it be the shortest distance? Understood? Yes? Uh, because no, not quite. Because direction, now if I go like this, I can go like this for 1 kilometer, I can go like this for 1 meter. Both ways I am going the same direction, but displacement includes the amount you have traveled, but also includes the direction. So, first point is displacement is an arrow. It's an arrow. Okay. Distance is not an arrow. This is a special kind of arrow and therefore we call it a vector. It's a new name. Also, it's generally good to go home and tell parents that I studied vectors. You go and study, I studied arrows. They think that you have not studied anything. No. So, this is just to sound a little more fancy. That is basically what does it mean? What is a vector? It's an arrow. That's it. Okay. What kind of arrow? It is an arrow from start to end, from initial to final. Now, if I say that there is something that is disturbing, the word disturb has a dis in it, right? Distance also has a dis, don't ask me why, but the displacement, can you see this word in the middle? Place. If my place has been disturbed, it is called distur displacement. So displacement is a disturbance in my place. That's why the word is displace. So when you say don't displace my duster, if you displace my duster, what did you do? Moved it. You moved it. Its position had changed. Its place changes. So what is the meaning of displacement? Change in place. This is the change, disturb, change. So, the definition of displacement is change in place. Place is already there, but again we want to sound a little bit more fancy than saying don't change my place. So, we say okay, position sounds a little better than saying place or location. So, we are going to say change in position. Okay, now we will write this as final position minus initial position. For now, I will write it like this, final position minus initial position. Now, you have already done a little bit of stuff on position and time, right? Now, what was final position? What do we write used for position? V for position? X for position. So, final position will be x final minus x initial. Okay? Did I tell you what we use for talking about the word change? Delta. Delta. So, that is just because we are lazy. I don't want to write change in. So, we are going to use delta means change in. In what? In x position. Now, we need a symbol for this. Unfortunately, D is already taken because distance is D. The next letter is I, but this I looks like me, I, you are I, right? And it is also used for root of minus 1 later on when you see complex numbers, you, okay? It is also used for some other kinds of directions. So, too many people are using I. If you do not have D, you do not have I, what is the next letter? S. S. So, we are stuck with S. 
It doesn't look like that's the right word to use, but that's what we use. So what is S? Displacement. It is a dis S. And it is the change in position, final position minus initial position. This is the definition for displacement. So what is displacement? Change in position. position. 